Hello there again, you guys. This is going to be a, another pick a card reading, and this is going to be what am I manifesting in love? So um, I'm going to do five cards, and you get to choose between whichever cards you feel guided to choose, however spirit wishes to reach out to you, okay? So I'm going to use the Psychic Tarot of the Heart Oracle cards for this um, pick a card reading. All right, spirit. So tune into all five energies and what it is that we are manifesting when it comes to love and that each card rings true for us, um, whichever card that we choose, okay, that it will be accurate to each of us, okay, in our own individual unique ways, however you decide to reach out to us, divine spirit. Thank you. Five cards, what it is that we are manifesting. And you're going to pick between... However many cards you feel guided to choose or however you feel guided to do it, okay? All right. Oof. I guess I shuffled too much. <laughs> All right. How do you want to do it? Okay. All right. psychic tarot of the heart so you guys are um gonna choose your cards and i'm just gonna give you guys a few moments to meditate upon the cards that you feel guided to choose get started all right for those of you who've chosen card number one what are you manifesting when it comes to love you got succeed and believe this would be the six of wands so this is success and victory that you're headed towards when it comes to love okay when I say love I don't just mean romantic love it could very well be relationships with others in your life but this is what, or even relationship to yourself, most importantly, but whatever you chose is going to be successful. You just need to continue to believe. And I feel like you are believing in it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be heading in the right direction of success, okay? And harmony even, because you have the number six, which is the number of balance and harmony and unconditional love. So that is awesome. That is what you're currently manifesting. Okay, for those of you who've chosen card number two, what is it that you're manifesting in love? You have two of coming together, the two of cups, okay? So you're manifesting um, a 50-50 relationship, okay? You guys are putting in an equal amount of love, okay? This could be um, a start or beginning of a new relationship taking off, okay? You know, a commitment, a... Um, you know, a proposal or moving in together, you know, just people coming together, or maybe even forgiveness where there, you know, where there was some sort of misunderstandings or separations between, you know, the one that you love or people that you love. These are reunions of people coming together, forgiveness, okay, or this is a new love that's coming in and sharing it with someone that reciprocates what you put out. All right, this is a good energy. All right, so on to card number three. Card number three, what you're manifesting in love is the seven of the crown chakra. So you know exactly what it is. You've been getting the guidance and the messages repetitively of what it is that you're manifesting or calling in. You see it very clearly. Your vision is on point, I'm getting. Your crown chakra is connected to your divine wisdom, okay? Um, to all that is, your higher self divine spirit your angel your guide so you know exactly what it is that you're calling in when it comes to love so trust and believe in yourself okay in that vision that you have within you okay so those of you who've chosen card number four what is it that you are manifesting in love you have 12 up observe so this is like the hanged man okay so 
you're being guided okay with your love life you're looking at things from different perspectives it could be that you're attracting different types of people in your life these different characters they all play a different role and it's like you have to be able to look at it from a higher perspective or place okay this is divinely guided this is a major arcana so you're being div divinely guided you manifested this maybe your higher self well, subconsciously you manifested this Okay, so you've attracted all of these suitors in your life or, you know, these different scenarios with your loved ones and you have to use your higher self, your higher wisdom and look at this from a wise place and perspective, not in a way that you've always had before. Um, also, others of you, you may be attracting a lot of attention from different people. Okay, I feel like a lot of people see you, you're standing out right now, which is a good thing. So you may be attracting different types of people this time around. Okay, so keep an open mind. All right. All right. So for those of you who chosen card number five, you have eight of helpless and hopeless. So this is the eight of swords. So you're attracting this energy of feeling lost and trapped in a relationship or trapped in love you don't know what you want or where to go or who to choose um you know what should i do should i be with this person or should i leave this person should i do this should i do that some of you are double-minded right now all you're perceiving is obstacles you're not looking at the fact that you're creating this so this is based upon your mindset. So your mind could be in this place of feeling stuck and stagnant and like you have no control over the situation. You're looking at things outside of yourself as controlling you and overbearing and an obstacle. So know that you, if you can manifest this, you can manifest something better and what you want. So focus on the outcome that you wish to have rather than what you don't want. Because I feel like you focus on the don'ts, okay? All right, you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading. As always, I'm sending you guys much love. And until the next Pick a Card reading, peace.